Cześć i witam was ponownie na moim kanale i dzisiaj mam 10 polskich romansów językowych on my computer here and it's going to be a nightmare because I have scoured the internet for 10 pretty difficult uh, tongue twisters in Polish and in the last video that I did I kind of got some funny comments in regards to the fact that I used ChatGPT to find these tongue twisters and therefore some of the results were actually tongue twisters which didn't actually exist and some of them didn't really come out well and so I decided today I was going to do that video again but actually find 10 legit Polish tongue twisters and I've got them right here. So without further ado I'm going to warm up by doing one of my favourite Polish tongue twisters which is Stools Powiewajmy Wami Mi Nogami and with all that out of the way let's get started with the first one which is going to be Poczmistrzewa I feel like I've done that one really badly and this one by the way was a comment left by a subscriber so thank you very much for leaving this one uh, I'm going to try this one again Poczmistrzewa I see because there's in a row. There's like eight consonants in a row right here. Poch mischeva. Poch mischeva. Poch mischeva. Cheva. 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 That's a hard word on its own. Cheva. T C Z. Cheva. 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 Pot. Poch Mischeva. I feel like I'm going to need to now listen to Google Translate. Let's see how it sounds. Poch Mischeva. Poch Mischeva. Yeah, it's difficult when it's kind of like, like, I don't know how to describe it. It kind of like stutters the Z's, but obviously when there's multiple of that similar sounds, yeah, it makes for quite an interesting and difficult tongue twister. And this one, by the way, I think is the shortest one of the ten that we have as well. All the others, in comparison, look a lot harder. Potmischeva. I feel like probably I got that one. Not really. I mean, kind of, but not really. Yeah, that's that's my best pronunciation. Potmischeva. Something like that. On to the next one, which is going to be Poijcie. No, that's not right. First of all, the O is U. Poi. Um, how is it? Poijia. That's going to be really difficult for me actually to even say that first word. Poijia kin te. Homonosch fguamb flash here. How are you going to do the CHM combination here then? Homonosch. Sha? 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 Poijia kin te. Is this something to do with a pigeon? Gwomb? Poijia kinte hormosh hornosh homornosh Poijia kinte hormornosh fguam flashe. Okay. This one is very difficult. I'm going to go into Google Translate. Oh, apparently Gwomb is not pigeon. How do you say pigeon? Gowomb. Oh, it's Gowomb. So what's Gwomb? Deep. Ah, okay. Pójdźże, kiń te chmurność w głąb flaszy. Pójdźże. I've heard that word before. Pójdźże, kiń te chmurność w głąb flaszy. Pójdźże, kiń te chmurność w głąb flaszy. Now that I've heard Poijie, I've actually heard this word like a, a million times, I swear, in like books or whatever. Poijie kinte homosh. I mess up then on this word, which I think means cloudiness. Poijie kinte homonosh fguam flashe. Let me know how I did in the comments below. And let's move on into the next one. Loyalna yola i nie nie lo nie. Loyalna Yola. I'm not quite sure if a J at the beginning is a Y sound or not. Yola. It would sound weird to say Oila. Because sometimes a J makes more of like a I sound. I'm not sure. Loyalna Yola i nie loyalna Yola. One more time. Loyalna Yola i ni loyalna Yola. Loyalna Yola i ni loyalna Lola. 
Loyalna Yola y ni Loyalna Yola. I should really say Nia properly as well. Loyalna Yola y ni Loyalna Yola is going to be my go. Let's listen. Loyalna Yola y ni Loyalna Yola. There we go. If we listen... Loyalna. Yeah, so the J makes like a more of an I sound in the middle of a word and then at the beginning of a word it's more of like a Y sound. So I did think that was the case. I think that one so far has been my best attempt and looking at the rest that's coming up, certainly probably my best because there are some of these on this list that I am not going to be able to get. This is a bit of a longer one. Chirak Chima Chipak Chim Chavu Chenchi Chini Chini Chisini Is that Chisini or is it more like Chisini Chini The C has to be pronounced as a S Ch 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 Chisini that sounds weird. Chisini. Chirak chima fushipach chimp chavu chis che chen shi chini. I feel like I'm messing this one up so much. I need to listen. This is so hard. It's just constant. Like, I don't feel like I'm actually making much of a sound. Um, czy rak trzyma w szczypcach strzęp szczawiu, czy trzy części trzciny? Trzciny. Czy rak trzyma w szczypach... This word alone is actually uh, pretty difficult. Szczypach... Szczypach... Strzęp... Strzawiu... Strzawiu... Czy rak trzyma w szczypach strzęp... Strzawiu, czy... I messed up on that last word, but I'm sure I probably fumbled it the whole way through. Yeah, that was a difficult one. Okay, next one looks a little easier, hopefully. And for some reason, it begins with a E. I vespol for zespol be jond mots mots smots. I vespol. I should probably said vespol. Vespol Vespul. I think it's more like ooh. I Vespul Vespul Be. I Vespul Vespul Be. Jond Mots Mots Zmots. That's what I'm gonna go with. I Vespul Vespul Be. Jond Mots Mots Zmots. I think I was close. Just obviously, I can't say it like really quick. I Vespul. He said. I Vespul Vespul. I vespul zespul zbiv zo... Zjond... Zjonds... I vespul zespul zbiv zond... I vespul zespul zbiv zond moc moc moc... I vespul zespul zbiv zond moc moc moc... Certainly wasn't perfect, but I feel like I got that one pretty much... Pretty much... But let me know, because obviously I'm just a learner of the language. Uh, the next one is actually just a one word thing that I found. I figured it'd be fun to just attempt this long word, uh, which apparently is the longest word in the Polish language. Although I also seen that actually it's not because you can make even longer words with like numbers and stuff, but this is a pretty long word anyway. And it goes like this. Konstantinopolitan Chitkovian Echka. Right. Konstantinopolitan Chitkovan Kovian Echka. Oh, this is a mouthful. Konstantinopol Konstantinopol. So it's Politanchich. Similar to Tanchich. Oh, it literally has Tanchich in it, like the dance. Konstantinopolitanczyk Kowianeczka. Okay, let's Konstantinopolitańczy Kowianeczka. Konstantinopolitańczyk Kowianeczka. Moving on to number seven. 
Vindividualizovalishme Shesro Zento Sayamovego Tumo Vindividualizovalishme Shesro Zento Sayamovego Tumo The issue is, I just can't say it any faster, otherwise. I mean, that's kind of where like half of the issue is with trying to do tongue twisters is like the speed, but I don't really speak fast anyway. Vindividualizovalishme shes rosentoi rosentoshai toshai movanego rosentoshai movanego tumo. Vindividualizovalishme shes rosentu. Yes. Uh, I can't. I can't do this one, man. I can't. Vindividualizovalishmishes rosentusai movanego tumo. That's going to have to be my best at pronunciation because I cannot deal with this uh, <laughs> with this first word anymore. Vindividualizovalishmishes rosentusiasmovanego tumo. They're just long and really difficult words, and also words that I've never really come across either. They're a little bit unique in that way. Rosrevolo. No. Rosve. Rosrevolvevovane. Revolveovietch. Is that meant to be Vietch or Vietz? Rosrevolveoval. Urezovevov. Urez. Volvero Vanego, Revolvero Revolvero Vsa. See, I hate these kind of ones actually because it's just the same word, slightly different, repeated. It's really difficult. I'll try one more time, but it, like the repetitiveness of this kind of tongue twister really annoys me. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll try it one more time. Roz revolve ovani, revolve oviets, rov revolve oval, u resvolve ovanego, revolve ovsa. Okay. Roz revolve ovani, revolve oviets, roz revolve oval, u revolve ovanego, revolve ovsa. Yeah, certainly I'm not going to get that one. The pen ultimate tongue twister. Let's see if we can get this one. Ve shive pwascha she zasishve shiku mashar che vishe veshwe. Ve shive pwascha she zasishve she shiku mashar che vishe veshishwe. Veshishwi, it's just Veshwi. Ve shive pwascha she zasvich zash. I need to break these words down. Zash e vish. Pwas. Pwascha. Pwascha she zasivish. Shit. Shiku. Shiku. Masha. Che. Vshe. Veshwi. It's easier when I break them down and go really like slowly. When I'm trying to read full speed, which is the whole point of a tongue twister, uh, <laughs> they twist my tongue. Ve shive pwascha she zashivish shiv shiv shise. Ve shive pwascha she zashivish zashiv. She ve shive pwascha she zashiv she shiku marsha che she veshwe. Alright, let's see how it sounds. Veshwe pwascha she zashiv she shiku marsha tshe she veshwe. She she she, I heard. Veshwe pwascha she zashiv she shiku marsha tshe she veshwe. That was an interesting one because I actually quite like the the flow of the zas fish fish shishi. The repetitive shishi shishi in the middle there, especially, was quite a fun little 
thing to listen to. Overall, I think this one I've done pretty bad on, like all like this whole video I've not done that great on. These are pretty difficult ton tongue twisters overall. And I've left the hardest till last, or referred to as one of the hardest uh, tongue twisters uh, in Polish culture and history and language and whatever. And this one's quite uh, recognizable for most Polish people. And so I've left it the best till last. Here we go. Ksiegorz Pszęczysz Ksiegorz is not a difficult word. Ksiegorz is fine. It's the surname. That's, of course, the issue. And then the word afterwards is like the place name of where he's meant to live. Um, hmm. I feel like that guy in the bloody film now. That's got to be my best attempt. That, that word is just as difficult as the surname of Grzegorz. Let's listen. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz, Chrząszczyrzewoszyce Powiat Łękołody. Brzęczyszczykiewicz. Like, that sounds so easy. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz. Chrząszczyrzewoszyce. What? My eyes are actually hurting me at this point. I'm surprised that this is like one of the hardest words that I've got and this is even part of a word as well it's, it's this bit my eyes are actually really hurting me right now what the hell I've forgotten how to say this word now I'm not gonna be able to get this one let me know how I did. I I can't I can't even fathom doing that right now. I may try and learn how to do that, such as like I said in the beginning of this video, my favorite tongue twister, which is stools povywami vami mi no gami, because eventually I was able to actually say it well enough. I guess I don't think I'm perfect, but it's a fun one to say as well. And for those of you who are wondering, that literally just means table with no legs, or maybe table with broken legs is a better pronunciation or translation even. Yeah, this genuinely has hurt my eyes and my brain trying to read all these. Uh, so thank you, Polish people. If you have any other tongue twisters for me, please put them down in the comment section below and I'll try and build them up and maybe put them in another video. And uh, yeah, this is very fun for me to do. I enjoy doing these kind of videos. And uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of these. And we'll all add away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, have a good one and peace out.